Hey guys, Andrew here. Thanks for tuning in. Just want to say I hope you had a lovely Christmas and New Year's period, and I hope 2022 will be a lot better for all of us. I thought what better way to start the new year than by playing some Richard Burns Rally. I've been meaning to do a video on this sim for a while. I downloaded the Hungarian plugin, the Rally Sim Fans plugin, when I watched Jimmy Broadbent's video on it about a year ago. But recently GP Labs made a video and it introduced me to a few channels that play this game on the regular. So it really motivated me to really dive into it, really get stuck into what RBR has to offer. And I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't really get stuck into it sooner. The force feedback, the physics, the overall presentation, Honestly, this game could have come out last year and it still would have held up really well. It goes without saying that this is one of the best rally games, best sims, let's be real here, that you can play right now. It's better than their games, better than the WRC games. And yeah, so I think I'm just going to show off some stages and some cars that I really enjoy. First of all, we're going to drive a Rally Finland stage. This can definitely not go wrong at all. We're going to drive on this Corpi uh, Howl. Corpy Ho stage? I don't know. I don't speak Finnish. I'm sorry to any Finnish listeners who are offended by how much I've just butchered that pronunciation there. And we're going to be driving this Group B Audi Quattro because why not? It's a Quattro. It's Rally Finland. This can only go well. Stick around, guys, because I'm driving some really cool cars this video. This video is a bit of a labor of love to make. I'm actually recording this intro after I've recorded everything because I've made some changes to my setup and it's been a bit trial and error because some things have gone right, some things have gone wrong. So yeah, hope you stick around and enjoy the video, guys. If you really liked it, I would really love it if you liked the video, disliked if you want, I don't care. And if you really enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing. I've got a lot of plans for 2022. There's a lot of things in the pipeline. It's going to be an exciting time for all. So if you want to come along for the ride, I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, let's get stuck into it. Okay, Rally Finland, a Group B car. Three, two, one. Just to move my curse right. out of the way, because that will annoy everyone and watching. Right, 70. Caution. And right away, it definitely looks like right a game that came out in uh, 2004-2005. But it drives like one that came out, could have came 90, out, you know, recently. The force feedback and the physics are well known that they are just better than anything. It's, uh, if you played a lot of dirt, such as myself, then playing this, it's just, it's night and day, it really is. Some cars feel better than others. This corner's a bit of a bitch. Some cars feel better than others. Um, I've driven a few of them now. I've got, I know what my favorite cars are. This is not as bad as I thought it was. I gotta say, the force feedback is just awesome. It's not like you don't feel everything, but you feel enough. And to be honest, considering the game's nearly 20 years old, I mean, Jesus Christ. Alright, I got on the gas. I shouldn't have. Oh man, have I beached it? No, we're good. We're good. I think I picked up some damage though. I'm loving this. some of these stages. The problem that I have with a lot of modern rally games, and I am basically speaking about the dirt games, and the stages feel... I don't know, they feel very sort of like easy, medium, hard. I've ever shot this. Yep, <laughs> I did it in a lot of my practice runs as well. Avoid that pole. Like it never happened. It, yeah, it feels like they make stages very sort of easy, medium, hard. But then, something like this. I mean, the WRC game stages are pretty good. This is spooky. Oh my god. Bouncing off the limiter. I probably didn't need to downshift there, but it was more for confidence. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, the WRC stages are really good in the WRC games. But the best thing about driving on stage that's uh, made by somebody who has the passion for it is you get something that... You get something that feels like it could exist in the real world. Oh my god. Car, please. Car, please. 
Car, please. I need help. Okay, the quattro is looking a little bit beat up. Not a problem. But we're still going. Caution. Easy I've only got one and a half kilometers left. Right, There's a rock. I've hit the rock. The car is... We killed it, lads. We killed the quattro. That was bound to happen, let's be honest. <laughs> let's move on to another car. Okay, so I've decided to move on to one of my favorite rally cars of all time. And that is, of course, the Colin McRae's 995 winning Subaru Impreza. This car, out of all the ones I've driven in RBR, this is my favorite. It's my favorite in a lot of other games, so maybe there's some bias there, but I like it. I like driving it, and even when I'm not recording or whatever, I'm still, I'm chance I'm driving this car. I'm also going to drive on the Lockhart stage. This is another fan, this is another mod track. It's very good shall we say, and um, they've done a really good job of making you feel like you're in Scotland with the art direction. Uh, but I've spoken enough, let's go do it. So one thing I'm going to do for this stage is I'm going to shut up so you can just enjoy the sound of this car. It sounds incredible. Fast right. Easy left. Easy right. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Running on F mod, which is uh, an audio engine. Most mainline games and sims use it anyway. But as a mod tool, it's great for just bringing cars to life. And if you've ever watched an onboard of this car, as I have many times, it sounds pretty much spot on. And to drive this car, like I said before, it's, it's my favorite. Uh, in the uh, in the game, it just feels so balanced over gravel, which is what we're on now. It feels awesome. Horse feedback of this car feels so good as well. The Group B car was amazing, but these sort of mid to late nineties Group A cars, these are more my more my cup of tea, shall we say? This is what I grew up on. I imagine that. Uh, Games like this are a big reason for that. There was definitely sort of a golden age of rally games back in the day, wasn't there? Got a strats. Oh, that's my backfire. I think it did. Well, we didn't stall. Uh, I think we've left some bodywork there, though. Never mind. We're channeling our inner Colin. We're still going to finish this stage. Famous last words. Car's still going though, so that's good. Oh no, we're in the ditch, we're in the ditch, we're in the ditch. Easy. To think I worried. Right, we're about halfway through the stage now anyway. Okay, I'll turn you way too early. One issue I do have, I think some of the pace notes are a little bit off. But that's a nitpick, really. To be honest, the guy making the stage probably thought they were fine, so... Yeah, I'm part of, a big part of rallying in the real world is every driver, co-driver, makes their own pace notes. So to be honest, he can't really... I'm driving very cautiously now. Oh man, it's so... Even when you drive... Slowly, it's, it feels so good. I'm downshifting for confidence more than anything. Just want to get to the end. We're almost there. Almost there. So when you go over when you go over jumps in this game, it's genuinely scary. 
You can't just attack the jumps like you can in like the dirt games. You have to really consider your entry speed, how fast you go in when you sort of press the jump, what's on the other side as well. It's not like in the dirt games where they tailor make these stages. So there's a jump, there's usually enough distance at the end. I'm surprised I made that. We're in uncharted territory now, so I haven't got this far yet. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. A lot of left foot braking just to stabilise the car. I see logs and I brake. Less than a kilometre to go now. Too fast. Oh my god. The feeling of weight transfer is awesome. You really have this feeling of the car. You feel like you're actually driving a car. I was worried I was going to hit that tree there. We survived. Just. Just about. Oh my word. That car is amazing. I would say download all of this just to drive that Impreza. Driving it with the full H-Pan and everything. It's just great. The feeling of weight transfer. The feeling of when the car grips up. It's so good. I don't even know how to put the words across. But it just feels so good. But let's move on now to our third and final car stage combination. So to round things off, we're going to be driving this 2018 M Sport Fiesta around the Helston stage, I think that is. It's a tarmac stage in the Czech Republic. Before we start, I just want to point this out. You can, you, you do have setup options down here. And I, normally it's on default, as you would imagine. Make sure to put that on tarmac or gravel or whatever service you're driving on. I haven't done it previously, which is probably why maybe the stages haven't gone to plan. But make sure you do it, especially the modern cars on the, the newer stages, because it does make a lot of difference. Another thing, I've been driving with H-Pan a lot, and unfortunately the game doesn't seem to be able to differentiate which car might use H-Pan, which might be sequential. This modern car obviously isn't H-Pan. So what you want to do is just go into the controls and just delete your keybinds for the H-Pan shifter, and make sure you have also a shift up and shift down option. That will just make every car sequential, which is a bit of a, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's a very small price to pay. But yeah, let's get on with it. Tarmac rally in a modern WRC car. I've driven this stage a few times already. Hopefully, this one goes well. We're right away. We're off the line a lot quicker than we were in the Audi or the Subaru. The sensation of speed as well is quite unmatched. These trees flying by me. It feels very visceral. Gives you such a great sense of place. Almost 200 k's there, I think we were. We were when I looked, anyway. Also, the grip these modern WRC cars have on tarmac and on gravel, but it's just incredible. A lot of downforce in these cars. You really don't want to hit those guardrails because you'll just bend your suspension. Meteor Not fun. Left, 90 right. Fast left, 70. Fast left, 70. Fast right, 200. Sorry if I'm not talking much, but I am just concentrating. Just want to get to the end of the stage. Right, there are some YouTube channels that I follow that I'll, uh, I'll link below. That solely focus on RBR and rally games. Don't know how they do it, man. Slow down a lot there. Caution. And 90 left and 90 right, K left, 150. Flat right, 150. That's, um,. That's all village section. I love I love driving through that. You feel like you're actually in these places. Easy left 
I love the uh, the spectator models. They're only 2D images, but they already they just look so much better than the pretty poorly animated low res models that we have in the Dirt Rally games. It just shows that good art direction can really uphold and sometimes trump uh, graphics. It doesn't matter that the graphics in this game are looking quite dated these days. The art direction is so good. I can forgive that and really hit that. That block there. That would have ended my rally. I did actually on my last attempt. Not even halfway through yet. Oh my god. I bet my concentration base right now looks great. Oh, these chicanes can just do one. I know why they're there though, don't get me wrong. Caution. Key right and 90 left and meter right. Flat right, 400. Oh, the short line through there. Meter right, 100. Right, there's one of those corners. That sorts the voice from the men. You can carry so much speed through there if you're brave. I just know you can. Right, I know this part of the stage can feel a bit... Easy right, 300. A bit difficult. We're about halfway through the rally now, of well, the stage. Oh man, we're bouncing off the limits, so... I don't like that feeling in a modern car. Great in the Audi or the... Uh, or the Subaru, but in the modern car, it feels like the uh, the next corner is coming very quickly. I feel like it's always good to have a little bit of throttle on as well, just to get the diff working. Modern cars, they have so much grip. So much mechanical grip from those differentials. I don't know how they work. I assume it's black magic. Some form of sorcery. I wonder what my heart rate is right now, because it feels pretty high. Do not fuck up. I love how the light has changed now. We're in this more forested area. Harkens back to what I said earlier about... About um, art direction over graphics. You can do a lot of bad graphics if you know how to present them. But that's a topic for a different Fast sort of video than this one. Oh my god. Fast left, 150. Over crest into fast right. I'm sweating. Left, I'm very I'm, I'm sweating a lot. Log. Oh no. Oh my god, man. I don't know if I've got it in me to do that again. This is like my fifth attempt at this stage. I really think I need to end it there, otherwise I'll just go crazy. We only had 2.8 kilometers left to go, but I really hope that gave you an impression of just how amazing Richard Burns Rally is nowadays. What the community has done to this game is no one short of incredible. And to be honest, the wider sim community, I think just needs to take notice because it's amazing and honestly, <laughs> It's, uh, I'm addicted. I've been addicted to, to this for the past couple of days. Had to make a video about it. I really hope that 2022 is good to you. I'm sure it'll be good to me. I just need to work hard. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know why I did that.